All right, welcome everyone to Strength and Conditioning. This is our Monday 10 a.m. class. Um, we have about, I want to say a month left. Our last class session today is what, the 24th. So our actual last class session for the spring term um, would be Wednesday, May 24th. So just keep that in mind. Um, about five days after that, we start our summer session, which actually begins on a Tuesday, and um, and we'll begin that, and that summer session goes for ten weeks. But anyways, um, we'll we'll get to that. So let's go ahead and start with the warm up. So let's start left to right. Today's workout will be again strength and conditioning, meaning more um, lifting, a little bit of light cardio. But when you hear strength and conditioning, we're usually, you know, working a little bit heavier and sometimes a little bit harder. Up and down. Have a busy week ahead. I, we have our, our championships for track and field tomorrow and Saturday. So um, we'll see how it goes. Track season's coming to an end. Do some neck circles. Come to the beach on Saturday with the family. Uh, it's really crowded, actually. A lot of people had the same idea. Reverse, change directions. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Let's reach up towards the ceiling. Reach up, up, up. It's clean, right? Go left. Mm, feels good. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and do trunk rotation. So just left to right. All right, let's go ahead and bring that right arm across. Switch. All right, let's go with ab circles. So white stance, just back straight, come across. Uh, <sighs>
Let's do two more on each side. It's really just gonna loosen up our back, our hips. All right, very good. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and do big cool loops. So wide stance and just big loops. Switch. These are popping. All right, let's go ahead and do a quad stretch. So pull back. Just staying upright. Try to grab right above your ankle. So I just, um, maybe one of you guys has any recipes for me or suggestions, but um, I just started introducing um, cottage cheese to my, I guess, my nutrition plan. Um, I know some people are fans of cottage cheese and some people are indifferent or don't like it. Um, let's switch. But does anyone eat cottage cheese frequently or have any recipes or eat it with anything specific? No fans of cottage cheese, I know. You could tell me after this stretch if you have anything. I always have cottage cheese with fruit and with, fruit? with strawberry and I just it like that. Yeah, that's that's probably the most common one I've seen yeah with strawberries. So I need to try that. Let's go ahead, hamstring stretch. Thanks, Miss Wayne. So slide then at your knees. How's it I like cottage cheese with pineapple. Oh, see, pineapple is my favorite. That's my favorite fruit. Well, I, it's between pineapple and mango, but I, I could do pineapple. Let's come back up. Deep squat. I Jean, appreciate that. Yeah, the, the only thing, um, you know, about pineapple that I'm not a fan of is the core. And sometimes um, when my wife cuts it up, she'll throw the core in there two little pieces. And oh man, it's just, I feel like once you chew on that pineapple core, you just got a bunch of pineapple little strings between your teeth. And uh, it's really tough to get out sometimes. Oh yeah, I love pineapple. Kiwi's a really good fruit. Oh. But yeah. Yeah, I have one of my clients does, uh, she loves her chips. So, you know, chips obviously aren't the healthiest things to eat. So what she does is, uh, and she loves ranch and rise back up. So what she does is they have the, the ranch maker, like the ranch uh, packaging with the powder. And I guess she puts that in cottage cheese and mixes it. And then she'll eat carrots with that. And that's supposed to be like a little hack. Um, especially if you use like low fat cottage cheese. So yeah, so I'm just trying things out um, just because I'm kind of don't want to depend on egg whites so much, you know? But anyways, do you guys have any ideas? Debbie, no cottage cheese for you? Uh, yeah, I eat it with fruit. With fruit? Yeah. Okay. Any other snacks or? the oatmeal. Oatmeal. But oatmeal, okay. Yeah, I know. I feel like oatmeal sometimes you got to play with it. Yeah, so awesome. All right, so let's go ahead. Uh, any preference on muscle groups or you want to work out a little bit more? 
full body, upper body, legs, arms, everything, all of it. I do this if you, all right. <laughs> so we'll do this for everything, okay? One of my clients told me, I want full body, but no legs. I'm like, what are you talking about? That's just upper body. <laughs> so let's grab those dumbbells. Oh, so let me, before I start, let me show you something that might interest some of you. So I bought these bands. There's these big old bands. You can see them here. Um, so these are used for like a, if you have a pull-up bar, you could loop it through the bar and it could assist you in getting up and down. So, you know, there's a, obviously this one's much thinner than this one. Um, so what you would do, what you could also use these for is to do squats or some type of resistance movement. So for uh, example, you could like step in the band, you could duck, you could put it over on your shoulders. Yeah, on your shoulders here. And then you would just stand up and that would work as like the squat. And this light one here, does a lot of resistance. I don't think the thicker one <laughs> would go very hard, um, high, but um, this would be one where if you feel like your, your dumbbells are too light, this, this actually feels like if I have like a 70 pound bar on my legs right now. So pretty good. Uh, there's four bands. And again, most bands um, sets cost anywhere between 20 to $25. So again, if you're looking for anything else, I found these on Amazon. And there's two more. Um, there's a blue one and a green one. I just want to have them with me right now. But yeah, just something else. If you're looking to grow your at-home gym. All right. Awesome. Where's my board? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so the first superset we're going to do is going to be um, close grip rows. So these would be wide here. This is going to be close, okay? So it's going to be close um, grip rows. We're going to go down and then just row up. So do that with me right now, the first set. Kind of the first set with the lighter weight dumbbells. When they're fully extended, the dumbbells should be right next to the outside of your feet if your feet are right next to each other. Just look down and make sure anything that you're using your back, your head is always in the same direction or aligned with your back. And rise. Okay. All right. And now with the same dumbbells, what we're going to do, it's going to be a step up. Okay. So step up, usually it's done with the box or with the stair. You can step on the stair and rise up. When you don't have those items, what you could do is you could start in a lunge and then come up the knee up. So you're here and then up. Okay, that makes sense. So let's do eight on each leg. So dumbbells at your side. You're pretty much going to lunge back and then drag your knee up. A little bit of balance work. So let's go ahead and do eight on each leg. Go ahead. Be a little tiresome. Remember, for strength and conditioning, we'll take about a minute break in between sets. So just give yourself about a minute. You just want to make sure that we're fully rested.
We just don't want to start back up and be fatigued. We want to make sure that we're hundred percent. So give yourself a minute. We'll start. All right. All right. So if you have heavier dumbbells for the second set, we're actually going to do three rounds of this one. Okay. So um, if you have heavier dumbbells, go ahead and grab those. So again, feet together, feet together, bend over, and then elbow straight back up. So we're doing 10 of these. John Debbie, John Carmen. All right, let's do those step ups again. So the first round of step ups was already a challenge. Go back to that same weight. Um, if it felt like you know a little bit light, then you could go with the heavier dumbbells that you just grabbed. So again, eight on each leg. Again, kneel, knee drive. So eight on each leg. Once you've done eight, let's switch legs. Ooh. Yeah, I stay with the same weight for those knee drives. I'll take another minute. You should feel that right burning right above the knees. All right, last set of close grip rows. So again, feet together, bend over, look down, and then give me 10 of those. Oh. 
Yeah, I'll see if I can maybe find uh, something online where it's just the single band. So maybe um, if I find it, you know, by itself for under $10, maybe that could be a purchase everyone could do um, for, you know, one of the classes, since we'll be meeting six times this summer, um, we do want to switch it up day to day. Ladies are going to get fit this summer, for sure. All right, knee drives, eight on each leg. Ready, go. Switch. Six, seven, eight. Woo! Just left. Grab some water, have your water nearby. All right. Okay, so for our next one, we're going to go ahead and go a little bit lighter on the shoulders or upper body and then a little bit heavier on the legs. So we're going to go ahead and do shoulder complex. So shoulder complex is pretty much um, several movements going on for the shoulder. So what we're going to do is you're going to grab a dumbbell. I'd say maybe five to eight pounds if you have one of those. So we're going to go ahead and do 10 of each of these. So we're going to go up and down. So go ahead and follow along, up and down. And you're just gonna mimic the motions that I'm doing. Now figure eight. And try to do your figure eight without moving your torso so much. Okay, so just arms. All right, now steering wheels, arms straight. working out your forearms too and your grip. Now we're gonna do stand-up rows. So from here, just rows is pretty much what we're doing right now while bending over. And then quickly up and down now. So I would just kind of bring the dumbbell in front of me, up and down. Three, two, one, time. All right, put those down. Oh, you should feel that right in that inside part of your shoulder. Yeah. Okay, so that's shoulder complex. So just kind of moving the arms in every direction that shoulder joints make to be moved. All right. All right, now next we're going to go ahead and superset um, this next one with um, sumo squats. So sumo squats, you can lift a lot of weight. So whatever, I'd say probably grab some of the heavier weights that you have, okay? You're gonna grab sumo squats. I have a 25 pound plate here, wide stance. I'm gonna squat down and up, up. If you don't have anything too heavy, now I'm gonna just say spend about a second or two at that bottom position before you rise back up. 
So we're going to do 12 to 15 of these. I feel good, go for 15. All right, and we're really gonna try to get after these sets. So we're gonna go for three sets, okay? So rest up, because we got another set of the shoulder complex. So you catch your breath, about a minute rest in between. Really shake those arms out because the superset's not that easy. All right, okay, let's go ahead. Back to the shoulder complex. All right. Okay, ready? Up and down. Right here. Make sure you're breathing comfortably. Figure eight. Steering wheels, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Rows, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shoulder press, one, two, fully extend all the way up. Ah, just can't drop that dumbbell fast enough. And it's right there. I don't know about you guys, but it's like right there. Oh. How heavy is your weight, Debbie? Eight pounds. Oh, man. Really? <laughs> I'm complaining about five pounds. <laughs> I did have an arm workout last night, though. But yeah. Um, yeah, this weekend at the beach, oh man, we had so many things and with the baby and everything, uh, I had to end up parking, um, uh, about a mile away from our actual beach spot because parking was just crazy. So anyways, um, sumo squats. So again, grab your heavier weights. Okay, I have my plate here, 25 pound plate, my stands, down. Yeah, and if, you know, an item that could work for this one too is if you have a detergent container, uh, if you have a stack of rice, um, you know, sometimes those items could be a little bit heavier than our equipment, so. A case of waters. So 12 to 15 of these. Okay. 
So you want to exhale on your way up and on your way down. Yeah, that energy drink, no energy. So, and give yourself a minute. All right, last set of shoulder complex. All right, this time we're gonna do a count of 12, so a little bit more. Ready? Okay, go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12 figure eights, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve string wheels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The rows one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Shoulder press. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, Debbie, I don't know how you're doing it with eight. Carmen, how heavy is your weight? Don't tell me 10 pounds. Always, always my maximum is five. Five, okay. Yeah. Ugh. I always like, no offense to like these workouts, but you know, obviously with like my other workouts, I go up really heavy. So I sometimes see these workouts as like a warm up for my main workout. And then, but like, like that's killing my shoulder right now. <laughs> like, I'm just like, oh. Yeah, even the, the dumbbell step ups, like I was like, okay, I should take it easy on those because I do have a leg workout after class. But um, yeah, no, it's good stuff. Underestimating these workouts. So, sumo squat, last round. White stance, your toes should be pointed slightly out. And again, 12 to 15. So inhale on your way down, exhale on your way up. All right, very good. All right, I need a little bathroom break. I know too much information. Let's regroup in about two minutes, okay? Grab some water, stretch out.
Okay. Give you guys an extra minute. All right. Okay. So this one, the first movement, it's not going to require any equipment. Okay. It's just going to be push ups. Okay. So push ups are already pretty demanding. Okay. So, but this one will be on the floor. So if you're going to get your yoga mat ready, if you're going to do push ups and Jane Fonda's. We're gonna do anywhere between eight to 12 push-ups, just kind of varies on your fitness. And then Jane Fonda's, okay? So um, and when you're ready, we're gonna do three rounds of these again. So ready, eight to 12, and at your own count, okay? So don't wait for my count. All right, go ahead. Very good. All right. These you could always make uh, more challenging if you have the loop bands around your ankles. You could always do that. Or if you have ankle weights too, you could always add ankle weights. But give me 15 on each leg. And try to control them. Don't do them too fast. Awesome. Once you've done 15, six sides. Ooh, this side's a little bit more tired than my other side. Felt that one. Ciao, ladies. You're gonna get your minute rest so you can remain on the floor because we got push ups next. All right. All right, back to push ups. So 10 to 12. 8 to 12, I'm sorry. All right, on your own count, go ahead. Woo. Carmen, you're on it. And did your second push ups already? Oh, yeah. Slow down, Carmen. You're going too fast. And then when you're ready, yep, just transition to your Jane Fonda's and try to bring that leg up as high as you can. And yep, and just control it. Remember, 15 on each side. Thank you. 
Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Ooh. All right. Remember to try to rest up between supersets. Down there, give me the last set of push ups. Last set of Jane Fonda's on your own count. Again, when you're ready, go for it. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Okay, so this next one is going to be a little bit more of a challenge, okay? So what we're going to do here, this is called an up-down. So we're going to start with a movement at nine repetitions and another movement at five repetitions, okay? So one's going to be nine the first round, or actually ten and five. Okay, first round is 10 and 5. Second round is 9 and 6. Sorry, 9 and 5, 8 and 6, 7, 7, 6 and 7. I mean, 6 and 8, and then 5 and 9. So pretty much each round, you're doing one repetition less of one movement and one repetition more, if that makes sense. So the first movement that we're going to do is going to be thrusters. So thrusters for curling up and press so it's almost like an arnold press and a squat at the same time and then we're going to do a dip okay or dips okay so i'll tell you so we're on the same um area you guys don't get lost with the numbers um so we're going to start off with nine thrusters okay so nine thrusters and then five dips 
Okay, so grab your dumbbells. This one will probably get your heart rate up a little bit, so just keep that in mind. All right, ready? So again, thrusters, we curl down, squat. Then on your way up, you curl, you turn, and you press. And that's one, okay? So we're doing nine of those. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And nine. All right, once you've done your nine thrusters, you have five dips. Okay, so on your own count, one, two, three, four, and five. All right, good job, Debbie. Yep, if dips are too much, you can do overhead extensions. All right. My awesome. shoulders are worked out enough already. <laughs> okay, yeah, no worries. All right, so now we got eight thrusters and six dips. Okay, so back to it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, and then we got six dips. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, seven thrusters, seven dips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, seven dips. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Woo! All right. We got six thrusters, eight dips. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, and eight dips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last round. All right, last round. We got five thrusters, nine dips. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five. Ready, nine dips. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Woo! Job. How are you guys feeling? A little out of breath. You guys are live.
I'm ready for cool down. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why I saved, I saved that last up down for last. Sometimes I start the workout like that with my clients and they're like, why did we start like that? <laughs> so, all right. Are you guys good? Let's do actually, um, we could do a couple movements um, that don't require too much. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now is gonna be the chest compressions. Okay, so we could work out our chest from our chair, but yeah, we're pretty much done with like the hard part. So just wanted to make sure we got our heart rate up a little bit. So you guys like that? No? Yeah, okay, good. All right, so let's go ahead. We're just gonna press our hands against each other as hard as you can and relax. You're gonna hold for about three to five seconds. Press, one, two, three, relax. Again, one, two, three, relax. Let's go four seconds now. One, two, three, four, relax. Go, one, two, three, four, relax. Last one, one, two, three, four. All right, now we have two five second holds. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five. Last one. One, two, three, four, five. Relax. All right, very good. Let's go ahead and stretch out our neck a little bit. So sit on your left hand, bring your right hand over your head, and then just allow your elbow to drop to your side. Just trying to stretch out that left side of the neck. And let's switch. Relax. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna superset um, the chest compressions. We're only gonna do two rounds of these. This is gonna be our, um, our stand-up squat, okay, from the chair. So first round, we're just gonna do both legs. On the next round, we'll do individual legs, okay? So again, let's do 15 of these. So just stand up and sit back down, no hands. So for some of you guys, this might be a piece of cake. And for others, if we need a little bit of help with balance. This might be a little tough, but we're getting there. So again, let's do 15 of these. Sometimes these are like the Jane Fondas where you start off with Jane Fondas and you're like, oh, this is easy. And by like number 10 or 11, you're like, okay, my legs are really heavy. So same thing with these. Last one in. Ooh. Legs are a little shy. And then to our last set of compressions. Okay, so again here. Let's do three three second holds. Relax. Press. Relax. Press. And relax. All right, next we're gonna do three four second holds. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Relax. Two more. One, two, three, four. Relax. Last one. One, two, three, four. All right. Now we have three five second holds. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Relax. Go. One, two, three, four, five, relax. 
go. One, two, three, four, five. Right. Very good. All right, so now we're gonna do eight of the single leg um, stand-up squats, okay? So remember, you could extend your heel or your leg and just use your heel for leverage, or you could elevate it and makes it a little bit more challenging. All right, so eight on each leg. Start whenever you're ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. I'm gonna switch. One, two, three, whoa, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh. All right, I know. <laughs> I see the the gas. All right, all right, ladies. We'll cool down from the chair right now, if that's okay. All right, here we go. So, just go ahead and just reach up towards the ceiling. Lean right. Oh, that feels good on the ribs. Swing left. Do some neck circles, just relax that neck. Switch directions. Very good. All right, last stretch we'll go with performance stretch. So heel on knee. Just kind of hang out here. Push down slightly on that knee. Let's bring that knee up. And switch.
Just push down slightly on that knee. Bring that knee up. All righty. All right, folks, that should do it for today. Hopefully you guys got a nice little workout and maybe a little sweat at the end. Um, yeah, Carmen's nodding. But um, but yeah, you guys um, enjoy the rest of your Monday. Um, I'll see you guys on Wednesday. And any questions before we head out?